Welcome to the Electric Wheelchairs USA Mobility Experts Channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Pride GoGo Ultra X three wheel mobility scooter. This is model number S39. This is a practical and portable mobility scooter that does break down into more easily manageable pieces. It can support up to 260 pounds. And this is a great scooter for someone that just needs simple mobility that doesn't want to break the bank. So let's show you more about it. With the GoGo Ultra X, there is a universal accessory hitch on the back of the seat. So we have different accessories that you can find on our website to see what you can add to the hitch. Also with the armrests, they are width adjustable. You can see there's little holes here and that would determine where you could set the setting of where you would like the armrest to extend out to. And you can also remove the armrest if you would like. At the bottom of the scooter, there are two rear reflectors and there's two anti-tip wheels for added safety. So in case you're going up a, an incline, you have a safety feature of the anti-tip wheel so you don't tip backwards. This yellow lever is the free wheel lever. So if you press it forward, it'll put it into neutral and you can push the scooter if you were to run out of battery. However, you can't operate it when it's in the neutral position. You have to push the lever back down so it's engaged and that way when you operate the scooter, the electromagnetic brakes will, will work as they should. The seat on the Ultra X has a mesh back and it's similar to a computer chair and it's contoured. So it's a, it's a really comfortable back and the actual seat is padded and it has a breathable material on it. And the stitching is very nice too, similar to a car seat. Also the armrest have a little padding on them as well. So it's not a hard armrest. And speaking of the armrest, they do flip up so it's easy to get in and out of the seat, or you can swivel the seat. It swivels 360 degrees, which is also good for getting in and out of the seat as well. With the tiller, there is this front knob. If you turn the knob, you can adjust it to the appropriate length for you when you're operating the scooter. As for charging, there is a charging port that is on the actual battery pack, which you can remove, bring it inside your home to charge the batteries. And then once they're charged, you can put it back on the scooter or you can charge it directly on the tiller itself. There's a charging port that's located up high. So the, if whatever your preference is, if you want to charge it, bringing the battery pack in your home, or you can just charge it simply on the tiller as well. Now, speaking of the tiller, we'll show you a few features. So this is the battery gauge. So once it's fully charged, all of these bars will be lit up. Once it gets down to about halfway charged or maybe a quarter of the way charged, if you charge the batteries at that time and get in the habit of doing that, that will increase the longevity and lifespan of your batteries. This is your speed control dial. If you turn it all the way to the right towards the rabbit, then your, your max speed is around four miles per hour. But if you want to turn it all the way to the left towards the turtle, that will decrease your speed to about half. And the reason you might want to do that is if you're riding around crowds of people or you're riding it around a store, it might be a good idea to turn the top speed down. This is where your key goes. And there is a horn on your left side as well. Now the tiller is an ambidextrous tiller, so you can accelerate forward or you can go in reverse with just one hand. So if you have limited mobility in one of your hands, you can operate the scooter with just one hand. Now to take apart the GoGo -Go Ultra X. It's super easy. First step is you would just pop off the front basket. You just tap it from the bottom and it'll come right off. The next step is you would lift the lever that you use to swivel the seat. You would just lift that up and just pull the seat straight off. Now, after that, you would just pull the battery pack off. The next step is you would use the tiller adjusting knob and adjust it down towards the floorboard and then you would secure it in place. Now there is another knob that's on the front, right above the front wheel. It's important to lock that into place. If you don't do that, then the tiller can jump around while it's in transit if you were traveling in your car with this. So you wanna make sure that you lock this other locking mechanism in place and you can see it doesn't move once you do that. And the next step is you would lift this lever and it would release the front half portion of the scooter from the rear wheel assembly. And when you've done that, you have disassembled the scooter into five more easy and lightweight 
manageable pieces. Now to reassemble, it's simple as well. You would just take the front half portion of the scooter and there's two little hooks. You would line them up on the rear axle bar. And once you have them lined up, you just let go and it will snap into place. The next step is you would adjust the tiller up, lock that in place. You also wanna make sure that you unlock the locking mechanism on the front tiller so you can actually steer the scooter. After that, you would put the battery pack right back onto the floorboard. And once you set that in place, there's metal connectors that connect to the battery pack. And that way you know that it is secured into place. After that, take the seat, put the peg on the seat, line it up on the seat post, and you just drop that into place. And the last step, just slide the, the front basket right back onto the tiller. And now you have reassembled the scooter in less than 60 seconds. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a practical and affordable three-wheel mobility scooter that's not going to break the bank and is made by one of the trusted brands in the mobility industry, which is Pride Mobility, they have one of the best warranties in the industry, which does include one year of in-home service. As long as it's a warranty approved claim through Pride, they'll dispatch a technician to your home to diagnose and resolve an issue that would happen in the first year. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-682 9444 or visit us at electricwheelchairsusa.com.